I think it's safe to say I just had nostalgic overload. Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome into one of my favorite video games ever made, but remastered. This is Spyro Remastered Trilogy, and it's absolutely bloody amazing. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I doing a video on this right now? Well, that's because, currently, you can get this game, the Crash Bandicoot remake, and Call of Duty World War II, for $12.99 with Humble Bundle, and I highly recommend you do. Now as a kid, I didn't own this game. I only ever played the demo. I played it countless, countless times. This one level, I put so many hours into. Although my childhood friend also had this game and I played it around their house an awful lot. I love what they've done with those. <laughs> they look so bloody good. Back in the day, you'd have one or two main games. Those are the games that you play over and over again, because of course you were relying on your parents to buy you games. Back in the day, I used to rely on official PlayStation magazine to get my hands on new and upcoming games, but also they were basically my game collection because I couldn't afford anything else. And this was one of those games that I just kept coming back to. Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon is amazing. Now, of course, you don't only get Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon, you also get both of the original games as well, fully remastered. On its own, I would definitely say this is worth £10, but the fact that you can get this and Crash Bandicoot, as well as Call of Duty World War II, is quite crazy. Oh, it's money bags! Spyro! My, my! How funny to see you here! Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> so something they have done, I think they have re-recorded all the voices. Um, the only thing is, I don't know if I like him as Moneybags. I prefer the original. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> the sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the Kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. This is why everyone hates you, Moneybags. So we need 300 gems, we've already collected 130. Now I'm one of these people who will collect every single gem. And for someone who has slight OCD, um, yeah, it's, it's quite addictive and, and I can't stop. This always used to mess me up as a kid. I never used to be able to work out how to properly jump and I'd always miss. So, we're gonna see if I could do this first time. Here we go. Booyah! I'm so bloody good at this game. D that didn't happen. Okay. Right. Now, this was remade by Toys for Bob, and they did an absolutely fantastic job with this. Also, if you listen, that is the original PS1 soundtrack. Although, if you go to the options menu and then go down to sound, you can change it back to reignited. Now I'm gonna say I prefer the original just because it's nostalgic for me so I always have it set to uh, original because uh, why not? I just really wanted to share a game from my childhood with you because I think that this is so cool that they've released this for the price that they have. Um, that It's really honestly quite a bargain that this game is on here for this price. Oh, nice, you got a flutter there, that was awesome. And let's break these. Oh, nearly missed that one. Ah, oh, I used to bloody hate these things. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to collect everything in here first. Uh, let's get this. Something else I used to try and do was try and collect the numbers that were hopping about. I swear the old PS1 version, they hopped around a little bit longer. Also something that I noticed is that the sound of the gems is different, right? Am I mad? Here is the sound of the original gems. And this is the sound of the new ones. I don't know, that doesn't sound as satisfying, does it? Maybe that's just me. Okay, so there is an egg at the top of here. Now, the only way to get up there is by using this special power which allows us to fly. Now, the only problem is I'm absolutely awful at controlling it. And I even was back then. So, we're going to see if we can do this first go. Oh, God. Uh, okay, already. Already. <laughs> Whoop. 
Here we go. Uh, up. No, down. It's reverse. Oh, I hate reverse controls. We got this. It's fine. And then if I go for that. Nice. <laughs> I wish they'd have that in there. That would be funny. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the best place in this opening level. And that is the skateboard level. I'm trying to remember where the skateboard part is. Is it inside one of the other worlds? Am I getting confused? I think I'm getting confused. It's not in there. And I don't think it's over here. It's been a very long time. I'm, I swear it was a lot easier to get to in the old demo. On the PS1. <laughs> but it may be in its own separate world. So we can try and find that in a minute. Also something that this game added was um, underwater. I'm pretty sure in the first one you would die instantly. I'm not sure about the second one because I never played it. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but I definitely in the first one you could not swim, which was kind of annoying, but in this one you can. So this game is available on, um, Switch as well, which is crazy. Although I personally don't feel right playing this on an Xbox controller, which I am right now, because this is really designed for a PlayStation controller, right? This is, it feels better playing it with a PlayStation controller, and I did own this on the PS4 when it released last year? Was it last year that this game released? I don't know. But I know that it only released, I think it was recently on the PC. Um, and I, I, I really wanted to pick it up, so this is the best opportunity to do that. So I've looked it up, and the skateboard level is in Sunny Villa. So we've headed over to Sunny Villa. I, I like that little attention to detail. Look at that. That's really nice. Um, so we just got to complete this level quickly. Hello! Oh my! Can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Can you shoot these flowers? Oh. <laughs> oh no. I feel so bad right now. Oh, hello. Come here. Come on. <laughs> I love the animation so much. They're really, really good. Okay. Uh, I think there's ones that have big weapons on this level, aren't there? Like, they will completely crush you. So I'm going to have to watch out for them. Also, there's some frogs here. Let's take them out. Although we don't really need them, I suppose. Um, there's also some hidden eggs. I think there's one up on one of these pillars. Am I? There's definitely something up there. I, I don't want to obviously take too long doing this, so I'm just gonna kind of speed through this and get to the skateboard mini game because that's what I really want to play right now. But yeah, there's a lot in this game in terms of hidden content and stuff. It's t <laughs> oh, there he is. Hello! This Rhinox is too big to charge. You'll have to flame him using the attack button. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. Okay. Ah, oh, take that, you dingus. Okay, perfect. Now, every completionist watching right now is going to hate me because I'm not collecting everything. I'm going to come back to this level, don't worry, after this video and uh, get everything. Because, of course I am. I think you can get up on to these houses up here. Oh, there's another egg there. Let's get that. Um, <laughs> speed running Spyro with Roxy. Hello, everyone. This is my speed running Let's Play. Um, I, I completed the game in about five hours. <laughs> Ultimate speed running. I couldn't do speed running, I don't think, because I like taking my time and exploring. Okay, let's take that guy out. Woo! Nearly got hit by that guy. Booyah! Suck it! Why, why is that guy chasing a giant cock? I don't remember that being a thing. Uh, well, that's dead. Uh, one more guy here. Booyah. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing the town. Hey, there you go. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember him doing that. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm so happy playing this. This is like, honestly, this is one of the happiest games. It just, oh, it takes your mind off everything, which is what I need right now. I've been having quite of a stressful week, and this is, um just been oh, a breath of fresh air. It's so nice. Plus, it, it takes me back to my childhood, and that's probably the most important thing right now. Because this is what I imagined the game looking like when I was originally playing it. This is how I see it in my mind's eye, you know? I, I think that's the rose-tinted glasses, but there you go. Right. I found this gladiator training arena that also makes for a pretty cool skate park. Now, I used to be able to do this. I bet you can't catch all 15 lizards running. I don't know. I think I might be able to. Let's see if I can. Let's see if my skills are still uh, somewhat decent. 
All right, so I know you can jump like that and then fire. We've got this guy here. Let's take that guy out. And I think you come over here and then round. Now, there is a time limit, isn't there? Is that later on? I don't remember. I know there is definitely a time limit that you have to go up against. There's a guy up on this one. Oh, there's a guy there. Can we get him? No. Oh, nice. Because they have holes that they can go into. And that is a pain in the ass, especially if you miss that one lizard. Let's go up onto here. Got him. Nice. Let's go back down. Ah. Damn it. I, I broke my bloody board. Now you can... Well, I swear they used to go down holes, not just disappear into the ground. Is that a thing? That's weird. Okay, I remember that completely differently. All right. Because I thought they had little holes they used to jump down into, but there's no hole there. Let's take that guy out. And then there's two up on here. I think around the center. Nice. Got that one. I broke my board, but that's fine. At least I got him. Got a guy here as well. Let's take him out. And then... Nice. <laughs> Oh, God, I used to spend hours on this level just playing with the skateboard because the physics are actually quite good for what they are. It's not that bad. Let's take these two out. Come on. Nice. Got him. Now, where's the last one? Oh, God, this is what used to happen. I used to bloody miss one and never work out where they were. I think he's up there. Okay. So I think if I pull back on the stick. There you go. And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard. Now, there are quite a few different challenges you can do here. And you can... I think you can do a timed one, which is what I'm going to do next. Because I think I've got this down. I know where everyone is. I've just done it. Let's see if we can do the timed one. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, yes. Now, the only thing about the timed one is, if you fall off, you go back to the start. So, let's not fall off. I forgot that happened. <laughs> okay. Let's try this and see if we can get them... On our first go. All right, here we go. Nice, got that one. Let's take that one out. Oh, that's, that's, well, that one sucks. I hate that one. Okay. Let's take this guy out. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You better run. <laughs> oh, I bloody love this. I, I love this game so much. I'm hoping I can get everyone in time. And also the fact that you can fall off in this one really does mess with you. Because if you fall off once, that's it. You have to restart everything. Uh, so let's not do that. Let's see if my skills hold up after all these bloody years. Okay. Uh, oh, nice. Took that one out. Now, you actually don't need to flame that one, which is nice. I almost hit that wall there. I, I could have sworn we were going to die then. Um, how did I miss that one? Turn around. Ooh, if you fall the wrong way round, that's it. You're done for. I got one there. And... Bugger. Hello, me again. Um, yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I bloody do this. I need to do this. I need to prove my gamer skills, okay? This has been years of practice, all culminating in this one video. We need to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this one first. Okay, got that one. You have to aim it right. You have to... Ooh, ooh. I thought we had died there. That was close. If you even just tap the wall, you fall off. So, I've got to be so bloody careful here. How did we live? How did we live? Okay. <laughs> okay, we should have fallen off there. I'm going to be honest. Um, let's take that one out. Nice. You have to immediately turn around on the stick there. Okay, we got this. You got three in here. I always miss. I need to go center on these ones, don't I? Nice. Okay, let's go center on this one as well. I missed again. Damn it. You have to get that bloody perfect. That's the only problem with this. Okay. Go center. Right, turn that one out. Let's come off of here. And let's go for this one. Nice. Uh, one more around this corner. And then there's one more. Now, I think I know where he is. He is... Above here, right? Am I right? I think I'm right. I think we have one more guy, and he is right there. Oh, Booyah! Sweet. Suck it! <laughs> Beat my time! I hope this video has shown you how much fun this game is, and even on its own, is worth more than the money they're charging for this and Crash Bandicoot. 
and Call of Duty World War II, um, I think that this is well worth it just for this game. Um, just for this skateboard level, if I'm honest. So yeah, download it. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Now, I'm not being sponsored by Humble Bundle. I just wanted to make clear that this is an awesome deal. And I like pointing out awesome deals to you because I think that this is well worth playing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me, Spyro Champion, out. Bye, guys.